Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really, really well. If you are new to my channel, my name is Grace. I had a baby six weeks ago, my first baby. She's currently down here having the milk. So if you can hear like noises, grunts and groans, screams, it's her. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is all about products that I would recommend for new mums, if you're in the same situation as me, um, or expectant mums. They're just like the best things that we have picked up for Amelia, who is now super chilled. There's quite a few things in here, so I'm just gonna crack on. I'm also gonna link down below in the description box a website called The Lullaby Trust, which is a trust who kind of like verify baby products, I guess, and mention whether they are safe. Um, and if they're on the website, then they're like really, really good. Some things are on there that are in this video that I'm gonna mention that they kind of touch upon there. So if you wanna know any further information about them, whether they're safe for babies um, and kind of like what they recommend, then I'm gonna pop that website down below because I could have really have done with that before buying a lot of this stuff. But I'm just gonna crack on because there's loads to talk about. So the first thing that you can probably notice in the background of the video is the snooze pod. This is the bedside crib cot, whatever you like to call it. We went for the snooze pod. I really liked it. I've seen it everywhere on Instagram, YouTube, you name it, I've seen it there. We went for the snooze pod in the white colour. They do it in loads of other colours to like go with your colour scheme, your theme of your house. I really liked the like simplistic design of the snooze pod. There's a lot of other ones that um, are available out there at different shops. I'm not sure where to shop now because mother care and mamas and papas I both got into administration so i'm not sure where to shop so if you know pop it down below please it's super super lightweight i loved the look of it um it's very easy to move around as you can see there's a wall the other side of the bed um like the other side of her cot so it's very hard for me to like get in and out of bed so if i'm like having to hold her i can pull it at the same time and move it because it's that sort of lightweight but it's still really sturdy for something that's so light i also like that it's really thin because it has to fit in that particular place in the room um, and there's a wall the other side um i wasn't sure if some of the other ones would be able to fix they look a bit more bulky than the snooze pod i also like that it has the breathable mesh on the front of it so you can always look through it and see your baby especially in the night a lot of the time if it's in the daytime or in like early evening and I'm sat in bed not asleep yet um I'll have the side down so I can see directly into her then when I go to bed I zip it up I would definitely recommend a snooze pod for sure the next thing that I'm sure everyone has seen is the sleepy head a lot of people buy this to go with the snooze pod which is what I did but on the lullaby trust they basically say like don't do that they said the sleepy head is fine but just for like supervised sleep basically so don't pop them in the sleepy head overnight um don't pop them in it if you're not sort of watching them um because the sides go up there's like a curve to it so they feel like all enclosed and feel like they're sitting in the womb um because of that um, they can potentially like suffocate themselves if they were to pop their like face to the side um, and not then move out of the way. So that's what I've always done with mine. I've never popped it in the snooze pod. I know a lot of people do each to their own. Maybe they don't know about it. Um, so if you know someone who has got the sleepy head and the snooze pod, maybe just share the lullaby trust link with them. Um, each their own amelia loves it it's really really good to have like downstairs it's really good to take away with you if i go to my mom and dad's house i'll take it there because i know that she can go in something there we don't have to buy like a whole other crib or a moses basket or something for her to have there we can just take the sleepy head with us so it's really good for like a quick nap if you're next to her that's what i would recommend it for and that's what i use it for next thing which was an absolute bargain of a buy jay's mom and dad had got it for amelia just after we had amelia it's a swing i think this is the older model of the mother care one the one that i had seen in mother care was 75 pound and jay's mom and dad picked this up for five pounds amelia absolutely loves it she loves music and loud noise and things going on like she'll sleep through all of it but she absolutely loves it this one that we've got is you put batteries in it 
and you can swing for an hour solid there's different times on it there's 15 minutes half an hour and an hour and it just continues to swing backwards and forwards she loves it it's really really good i definitely recommend getting some sort of swing especially when your arms get tired because you can't like continue to rock them for the whole day so um yeah definitely definitely get some sort of swing the mother care one it's really really good the next things i'm going to mention together because they kind of go together are the i'm going to pronounce them mam don't know if they're meant to be called mom i'll call them mam the bottles and also the bottle sterilizer we picked up the bottles on amazon they were the cheapest on amazon they were like 40 odd pound i think in asda and I was going to buy them there and then. And then I realised I had an Amazon voucher. So I went to see how much they were on Amazon. And they were £27 on Amazon. And I had a £15 voucher. So we got them really cheap. Like we did super, super well with the prices of things. So we picked up a lot of the MAM bottles. I'd read really, really good reviews on them with the whole like anti-colic thing. Um, she really gets on well with them. She was a very, very, very small baby when she was born she was four pound 12 um so she was teeny tiny i think if a small baby gets on really well with them then they're really really good the sterilizer was a gift my mom and dad had bought us there's lots of stuff that you can do with this sterilizer that i've barely barely touched upon the only sort of settings that we have used on it is to sterilize and also the bottle warmer you can also do things with like food when they're a bit older super easy to use fits in a lot of bottles um I have a little elephant in the room and it's quite quick as well it doesn't take long <laughs> doesn't, it, do, it doesn't take long Shh, i'm trying to talk it doesn't take long at all to um sterilize so it's not like you're leaving them for half an hour if you haven't got a bottle for them it's very very quick so i definitely recommend the sterilizer and i love the look of it as well the next thing i'm going to talk about is amelia's bath time um she loves a bath which i'm super super happy about because i love a bath and i work for lush so it's just like it's just the perfect combination really isn't it so we picked up this bath support which i'm pretty sure is called angel care we picked up the gray one just because we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl it comes in pink and, and blue as well if you want to be like color specific um but we picked that one up i got that instead of a sort of separate standalone bath a lot of people said to me don't bother getting a bath um and i'm kind of glad i didn't really i want to get one of the dividers for the bath so you just fill up half of the bath um, with water so you're not wasting water i don't know if it's because again she was so tiny um that i feel like she wasn't too tiny for it like i was very confident in her being super super safe in there to go with her bath we picked up quite a few different brands and people have bought quite a few different brands of sort of like bath things for us i haven't given her anything lush just yet which i probably should because it's like the most natural but i haven't i'm just gonna have to leave this here this is like the next product um but some of the things that we love i just want to touch upon so child's farm love this brand um this is a hair and body wash it is a blackberry and organic apple this is one of the first things i bought for her when i knew i was pregnant i was like i can go buy like baby stuff now so um i knew she'd be like here around november time she was actually born in october but um I picked this up because it just smelt like really like autumnally and like wintry um, and I love 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 the smell of that so there's that so there's also a Johnson's one which Jay really loves I don't know what it smells like it must be like lavender or something but it smells really really good I have no idea it's not even gonna sound here is it but it smells really really good it just says with soothing natural calm essences it smells really 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 nice the next thing is this johnson's cotton touch this is a hair and scalp oil i didn't realize it was this i thought it was baby oil i only just realized it's this um and this i only started using a few days ago like a few bath times ago on her and i really really like it so she's got a tiny little bit of like flaking on the top like the tiniest amount like one or two flakes in a whole hair um but this you basically pop this on and you massage it into their hair it's really really good if your baby's got cradle cap which is quite common in babies um but you basically just like massage this in and then like shampoo it out it says it gently loosens dry flakes of a healthy looking skin and scalp and it makes her head like super shiny and glowy afterwards it's like i've stuck highlighter on her head she loves having a little massage so that can only be 
a good thing. We also love, there's loads of other products that we use, but these are just like some of the few ones that we love, 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 is the Child's Farm Baby Moisturiser. This makes a huge difference to her skin. It makes her super, super soft. I use it mostly on her face. It says it's suitable for newborns and upwards, and it's a baby moisturiser for precious new skin. It's really, really good. Nate is now home, so he's taken Amelia, so I can continue with the video next thing is nappies so we'd heard loads about the aldi nappies now we had been given when we were in the hospital quite a few of the bounty packs if you can get your hands on bounty packs um you can get them from boots you just download the bounty app definitely do it they are so worth it and it's so nice to be given like free things um so yeah definitely get your hands on some of the bounty packs we had loads given to us by the lovely lady who works for bounty in the hospital she'd given us like four packs and um, i gave a couple of them away to friends who are expecting babies as well so we had a couple of packs in the packs were pampers sorry about my lights as well they're doing something mental um in the bounty pack were pampers nappies in a size zero um which we had only got nappies that were size one we hadn't seen any size zero nappies anywhere else because amelia was so tiny she was in size zero so i'd sent jay to tesco one of the days when um we were still in the hospital i sent him out to go and get some more nappies because we needed nappies and we needed a size zero and jay had come back with these ones which are the fred and flow we've never heard of them before these are the tesco own ones these are so good so they're 89p i think for a packet of 24 of the size zero so they go up in price the bigger the nappy amelia is currently sort of going between the two sizes so she's nearly at eight pound now um she still fits in this and uh, the size zero so i feel like we're just going to use these ones up and then move her on to size one she's been in a couple of size ones and they have leaked so i think they just do it too big for her at the minute so this is your size zero and this is a size one so they're kind of like that much bigger these are the fred and flow ones and these are i think the little ones that loopy loo i think that's little um i would definitely recommend the fred and flow ones for sure they are super 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 affordable they're a brand that we just happened to find by choice i had no idea that tesco did their own brand of nappies and they do loads of things uh that fred and flow range do really really good things we picked up quite a few other bits in their range so really really impressed with fred and flow so this that has been sitting behind me for the last little while is one of these like carry caddy things i had seen this over on mrs hinch's instagram and mrs hinch has just had a baby so well a few months ago had a baby um so i saw this over there and then my mom happened to be like oh, i've just ordered you something that looks really really good for babies so um yeah my mom had ordered it not knowing that i was like about to order it and it's pretty much like exactly the same one so it's like this carry i'm gonna call it a carry caddy um, and you can take it around like your house with you i think this would be really really good if you're at parents house often or something like that like you go somewhere quite often um, maybe you could keep something like this in the boot of your car if you've got like a big boot you change them in the boot or something i don't know just like an emergency um sort of thing here i just tend to keep like nappies she's got um i don't tend to keep like all of this stuff this lives in the bathroom but i tend to keep things like talcum powder and these little suja cremes we've got quite a few of these these were in the bounty packs um we've got loads of these they're really really good i thought that they wouldn't last very long because they're so small but they last a really really long time um then we have nappy sacks i just grabbed any nappy sack and um, these ones are the loopy loo ones i've just started using them today and they smell amazing and oh they smell so good and i've noticed that they're a lot bigger than some of the other nappy sacks and then the last thing that i keep in here apart from like all the medically stuff is these which are the aqua wipes these are the wipes that we have been using you get other wipes in those bounty packs that i was on about um these are from Superdrug. i picked them up in Superdrug. these are basically the same as water wipes same kind of price and not really much cheaper than water wipes unless you get them on offer they tend to be on offer quite a lot um but they are the same as water wipes but they're biodegradable um which i was really happy about because i didn't even think that water wipes wouldn't be biodegradable so these are basically the eco-friendly version of 
water wipes so yeah they're biodegradable they're plastic free um they're 99 percent purified water with organic aloe vera wearers um water wipes is like organic fruit juice or something like that um i really like these amelia really likes them i like them because they're really quite wet so when she's got like a big poo you can really like you really just like wipe it all off in one go um that's my well let's wipe it off that is everything i hope that you like this video if you did please give a big old thumbs up and comment down below your favorite thing that i have mentioned if there's anything that i've missed that you would recommend if you're in the same situation as me and um, then please pop it down below help somebody else out and help me out because i'll probably end up buying it if you say it's good i'll probably buy it if you are new to my channel i would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and follow me on this parenting motherhood journey but yeah i hope that you liked it so i will see you all very very soon for another video